Happy Chinese New Year, or to be PC, Happy Lunar New Year, Aquarian people. So, long time no see. Um, are there any changes about me? Well, there is a little pimple here, and some friends of mine say that I've become fatter. Anyways, uh, so, uh, for this coming lunar, um, lunar month, yeah, this, this lunar month, right, okay, yeah, so, um, you can go check out my, um, like the caption below, and, um, also the previous, a, a previous video, which explains that I'm not doing, um, bi-monthly horoscopes anymore, horoscope reading anymore. So I'm not doing the um, full moon version, but I'm still doing this new moon version each month. So, um, yeah. Um, so, exactly. For this coming lunar month, which means until the next new moon, that happens in Pisces. Okay, so what is it going to be like for you Aquarian people? Well, let's uh, check out uh, the... The astrological chart first. Um, the new one happens in um, Aquarius, the fourth degree. Yeah, and then um, it actually squares your modern ruler Uranus in um, Taurus, which is um, not in its uh, most powerful place. Yeah, it's actually in its weakest place. Okay. Yeah. So in in Taurus, and that is not considered a really good energy. Okay, and um, your classical ruler, Saturn, is in your 12th house, which is um, in Capricorn, and it conjuncts Pluto, which means there is going to be a really um, big change, big, um, um, like a phoenix, okay? A phoenix, like, okay? A phoenix uh, gets burned, and then it just... Um, enjoy this rebirth, okay? So, this lunar month for you Aquarian people is about a male figure in your life, okay? If that's in the working environment, that is going to be your boss. Or if that's um, within your family, that is going to, going to be your dad or um, the father figure, okay? For example, your mom, who acts like a father, okay? Or your grandpa or whatever, okay? So, they are going to make some decisions against your will. Yeah. Um, and you have to listen to him just because he's your boss, okay? Like, boss, literally or figuratively, okay? So, um, especially if your boss is going to send you out um, to do some job, for example, for a secondment, and um, you are going to leave your um, normal workplace, so you're going to uh, uh, a totally new and strange place, okay? <laughs> Or your father wants you to um, uh, to um, live um, outside, to stay away from his family, to um, yeah, just to uh, or, or to send you abroad, um, um, send you overseas for uh, to um, to study. Okay, so these choices are pretty against your will, and you don't feel like accepting it. But then, after all, they are your boss, and you have no say. Actually, not much say in in this. Um, process of decision making so um you are going to have misgivings you are going to hesitate but anyways um let's see um what it turns out to be okay maybe it's a good thing maybe you just have to overcome your um um your inner um skip misgivings your inner worries then the result will be fine but you have to be mentally prepared for this already yeah. So why do I keep mentioning like sending you away or um, like overseas abroad? Because um, if we count from where Uranus is, okay, so we count back. So the energy happens in your ninth house and ninth house rules like overseas matters, foreign matters, okay? So most probably your boss, uh, the father figure, okay, the, the, the important male figure in your life, okay? be it in your family or your working environment, is going to send you, um, like, um, really, really far away from where you normally are. So, yeah, so please get mentally prepared and good luck to all of you.